Malaysia needs more oncologists to help treat the rising number of cancer patients. It is estimated that some 37,000 new cases have been reported each year since 2012. With this in mind, the health ministry aims to train 200 cancer specialists, not only to treat but to also spread the knowledge for early prevention. Malaysia currently has only 30 oncologists to serve the population. There is a pressing need to increase this number, as according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, mortality due to the disease stood at 21,700 in 2012, down from 32,200 in 2008, attributed to early detection. We, we need about 100, 200 more. Kan? That, that one is also a small picture, not, not number. But actually, kalau kita tengok population kita, almost 30 juta, we need more than that. And kita mempunyai satu cancer institute yang besar kat Purwajaya tu kan, National Cancer Institute. Kita dan kepakaran kita, kita fokus kat tempat-tempat macam inilah. Alright? So, insyaAllah, kita, Kementerian Kesihatan dalam perancangan untuk menambahkan lagi pakar-pakar untuk mengambil bidang ini. Tapi bidang ini bukan senang ya. Nak jadi bidang ni dia kena ambil sampai 5-6 tahun punya pelajaran. Cancer. It's not easy. It's not. The shortage of trained health professionals is also the key barrier to deliver an effective quality diagnosis early detection, which can lead to an increase in the survival rates. Um, studies at the University of Malaya Medical Center have shown that survivorship is about 58%. Now, if you compare that to Western countries, you're looking at survivorship of over 80%. So, out of 10 women who get breast cancer, 8 will survive in Western countries. In Malaysia, we haven't achieved that yet. These are among the issues highlighted in World Cancer Day Conference and Expo 2015, organized by the National Cancer Society Malaysia and CSM in Kuala Lumpur today. Saya ada tanda-tanda sakit cancer cervix. Jadi saya ingno, saya saya tak tak ambil peduli dengan apa yang tu sebab saya ingat itu adalah sungguh biasa. Jadi selama lebih kurang 10 tahun kemudian. Saya merasa sangat sakit bahagian belakang dan bahagian hari-hari uh, di mana saya tak boleh nak, nak tampung lagi kesakitan tu jadi saya dibawa ke hospital uh, dan saya dibuat buat biopsi di mana bila keputusannya saya dapati saya mengidap kanser cervix tahap 2. Among the leading cancers in Malaysia are breast, lung, colon, nasopharyngeal and cervical cancer.